So if you've been playing Rush Duel Links, you'll know we just finished the second half of Goha Fest. It's the Rush Duel equivalent of Kaiba Cup for Duel Links, or the Duelist Cup for Master Duel. By dueling a bunch in this event, you are able to climb the ranks in order to become the best duelist in the world. However, I'm sure you've encountered a singular archetype more than any others that we've been playing. That's right folks, the dragons. Today, I'm here to talk about the overwhelming power of Luke and his two best decks that have managed to become insanely overpowered and what could possibly be done about them. For those that might not be in the loop, let me talk about these two decks. The first deck is the one that's been here the longest, Draconic Resonance. In Rush Duel Links, each character has a list of skills that can help affect the state of the game. Some can make certain cards be pulled next, others can forcibly change card positions. In Luke's case, Draconic Resonance is a skill that allows you to boost the attack of two face-up monsters with 2300 or less attack, as well as increasing their levels by 4. This power does have its restrictions though. First off, you can only have dragons in your deck. The second is that you need to have an earth attribute monster with either 1500 or more attack, or 1300 or more defense on your side of the field. It's a lot to take in, but surprisingly not that hard to do. Here's a variation of a Draconic Resonance deck that can be played. There are two main cards that I want to draw attention to here. The first is Draconic Slayer, a level 7 earth attribute dragon with the effect of removing a spell or trap card if you have another level 7 or higher dragon on your board. You might start seeing the problem now. In order to have two level 7 or higher monsters, you need four tributes, and that's usually impossible to get in a regular 5 draw. But that's where the power of Draconic Resonance can come in. By summoning this card and then having a second level 3 to level 6 monster on the field, you can then activate the skill and have two boosted monsters that will allow you to do two things. First, it allows Draconic Slayer to activate their effect and remove a card from the field. But you will also have two huge beat sticks that usually will have attack higher than most monsters that you will encounter. It's an insanely oppressive strategy that allows for your monsters to clear the back row and your opponent's monsters as well. The second card is one of the staples of an all dragon deck, Dragonic Pressure. This is a card where, if you have three or more dragons in your hand, you can send three to the graveyard to destroy all monsters on the field, and then special summon one level four or lower dragon from your graveyard in defense position. This works super well with cards like Sports Dragon Pitcher and Sports Dragon Hitter, allowing you to have two monsters on the field to tribute. But really, any low level dragon can come out here too, since you can have the chance to activate Draconic Resonance if you have the right cards in hand. Having access to like the only good board clear is pretty valuable in this meta, since it can be hard to remove large threats that fill the board. The second main deck is known as Ancient Forces. This deck revolves around a skill that boosts a level 6 water or fire attribute dragon on your field by 1000 attack and then sends a level 6 fire or water dragon from your deck to the graveyard. The restrictions for this deck aren't as strict. As long as the monsters in your deck that have 1400 attack or higher are dragons, then you're pretty much good to go. However, you might be wondering, Protag, these qualifications for what can be boosted seem so specific. How could this be any good? Well, that's a great question, and my answer to you are these two cards right here. Burning Blaze Dragon and Clear Ice Dragon are, oh wow, level 6 fire and water attribute dragon monsters. By activating the skill with either dragon on the field, you can then boost their attack while having the option of sending a Burning Blaze or a Clear Ice Dragon from your deck to the graveyard. Here's a standard Ancient Forces deck that I've seen many use. Ancient Arise Dragon has two abilities. The first is to boost its own attack by 600 if you discard the top card from your deck. The second one is that if you have a Burning Blaze Dragon and a Clear Ice Dragon in your graveyard, you can add both cards back to the deck from the graveyard, and you can then destroy a monster with 1500 or less defense. Like I said before, card destruction is pretty rare right now, so being able to do that is pretty valuable, especially when you have powerful cards like Dragius's running around. This works well with the Ancient Forces skill, because if you have a Burning Blaze or Clear Ice on the field, that means you're already going to have one in the graveyard to set up for your Ancient Arise plays. And even if you can't destroy the monster on the field, having a 3000 attack boss monster is still nothing to scoff at, easily clearing most monsters. So. Now that you have a general idea of the two decks, which one is better? Personally, I think that nothing can beat the destructive power of Draconic Resonance. 
being able to both increase your attack and your levels actually allows you to bypass negate traps like Music Princess's Recital and still have more attack to overcome any boss monster. So how can we stop them? I wish I could just point to an archetype and say, play this, but there really isn't a deck that is both strong and consistent enough to overcome this. There are a few traps out there that can help, things like Widespread Ruin can help remove any large threat, but your next best card would probably be Phantom Binds. Being able to reduce attack based on the amount of same type does do wonders in a mono dragon deck, or you can even play something as simple as the Barrier so that it can protect your boss cards. However, you do have to somehow protect all of these cards since Dragonic Slayer and any back row removal like Hammer Crush can easily remove your back row as well as your opponents having their own traps to remove your cards as well. I don't know how long we will have to wait until a new box or a new character comes in that might be able to shift the meta, but as of right now, our future will continue to look very... scaly, I guess. If I had to say, I think that we need to start getting more support for what we already have. Beasts are right now useless, spellcasters are probably the next best deck, but if we get more spellcaster support, there are some cards that are going to be very, very scary, and you know, I don't know what we can do to really fix it. If you have any ideas, drop them in the comment section below. Well, I guess we could add these guys.